wanted to do a quick video to kind of talk about some of the basic moves that you can do with a pair of quill flags. And so I'm going to use a pair of medium quills here. And right now I have a pair of them in one hand. And this is one of the ways that you can use them. Because they're so light, you can hold two of them in one hand. So let's say that your left arm is getting tired because you're right-handed like me and so your left arm is weaker. You can worship with just the right arm. You can put both of them in your right hand and you can worship with just the right arm. And so right here all I'm doing is the figure eight move that you've seen me do so many times and so I'm just down the circle, up the circle, down the circle, up the circle. And so that's all I'm doing here and it looks beautiful, okay? Now the other thing I can do is I can stick my pointer finger in between the two that are here or if I wanna make a wider divide I can stick two fingers in here and then literally do the same move. And it just creates a slightly different look because now people can see that you're holding two in one hand. And so you can do this move here. Obviously, you can, in fact, hold one in each hand. And so here I'm doing the same move except uh, mirrored so that they're flipping opposite directions. And so this is a really easy move. The beautiful thing about quills is that you can kind of do whatever you want and like even if they smack each other they're going to keep moving most times and so you really have a lot of freedom as far as how you're moving the quills <laughs> so you know i will sometimes do here i'm doing parallel figure eights on their side you know or i can do one over the head that's a move that i frequently will do where my arms cross go over the head and back down and cross and over the head and back down which just looks like this which is really pretty and again like these are just some of the basic moves the side to side one is one that i do a lot um the the mirrored eights is one that i will do a lot and then you can just add spinning so even if you hold them up straight and you spin around and so this works really well to spin and go into the figure eights on the side so that's one that you'll see me do frequently <laughs> But the, the quill wings are really forgiving and very easy to use, which makes it very simple. Whatever moves work for you. Now, what doesn't work is if you go straight. Well, actually, that did kind of work. But if you go straight back, like they can get caught on each other. So one of the things that you'll sometimes see me do is I will actually bring them down. I'm actually flipping it gently at the wrist when I'm doing this. I don't know if you can see that. But here it is from the side. And it looks really... I'm basically just bringing it up and down, but I'm flipping my wrist at the top and the bottom so that it doesn't get tangled on itself. You can also do it where you have one going each direction. So I'm doing the same move I was a moment ago. I'm just doing, uh, I'm doing it syncopated. <laughs> so anyway, those are just a few of the basic moves that you can do with a quill. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. God bless you and happy worshiping.